everybody, Rubik's Master Stream 1 here, and today I'll be solving the 7x7 Rubik's Cube. You know, I already did all the centers, but now I'm just doing edge pairing. So, let's get started. Well, let's continue solving it. So yeah, this is edge pairing. Um, I already got two of the white edges done, so let's... But just to, if if I get parity, I will not solve the parity because the parity algorithm is just it's really um I mess up on it a lot, so I'm not going to solve the parity. If I get it. But it's really, this 7x7 is really fun to solve. The centers are boring. But the edge pairing is fun. The last two centers are really boring. Okay, where are you pieces? The hardest part of the 7x7 seven seven is the uh, last two centers. And those are just ter- I hate solving those two centers. It's so boring and it's pretty hard too. But the, everything else is pretty much easy. Oh, where are you? Because I didn't- the reason why I didn't film the centers is because I did not want to make- I, didn't, I just didn't want to film the last two centers because it would probably take me a really long time. Sorry, I have a cold. Hey, where are you, peace? Where are you? Oh, it's right there. Because on the uh, 7 by 7 you could, you could get really bad parodies. And it's a pain. <laughs> Sorry. I almost dropped it. The first two centers is pretty fun, but the last two centers are s just terrible. 
Pairing is very easy and it's really quick too. I'm kind of quick at edge pairing for some reason. But I don't have anything I don't have anything bigger than a seven by seven. I have three seven by sevens. I don't have like an eight by eight or a nine by nine. I'm really getting I'm really looking forward to getting the nine by nine. Um, I bet the nine by nine it would be also really fun to solve. So. Here it is. But the 9 by 9 would take even longer, obviously. But it would be also very fun. This is the best 7 by 7 I have. I have one white shake shell, I have this black one, and I have a V-Cube 7, which is just really bad. V-Cube 7, it's smooth, but it's really hard to turn. It's like, my hands get sore. And I've had it for a while. It's br been broken in, solved. I've solved it once and it's still just really bad. But I do like it a lot because it is the first ever 7x7 seven seven to ever come out. Because V-Cube introduced the first ever 6x6. Six I used to think I was never going to be able to solve a seven by seven, but I have done. I've, but I've done it. I've actually solved a seven by seven a few times. Fail. The reason why edge pairing is so easy is because it's basically doing the same thing as what you would do to a 4x4. So it's basically like a giant 4x4 with like more edges. That's why it's so easy and quick. But I'm really bad at 4x4 though. Oh, that goes fast and that one works. Oh, no, I got parody. Um, off. Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh, my wrist hurts pretty badly right now. I don't know why. Come on, get out of there, Jesus. I don't know what happened to my wrist. It just hurts. I've been doing this for a while. And my, I'm really bad at 7x7 seven seven too. My fastest time for 7x7 seven seven was 1 hour, and that's just terrible. I just want to to solve it. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything right. I'm not doing anything right. There you go. Um,
and yes, I got parody. Um, so this is as much as I'm going to solve it for now. And the, the I got parody here. So I'm saying my seven. You can get really bad parodies. So I guess that's all I'm gonna solve for right now because the parody algorithm. I take it's, I really I mess up on it a lot. So bye.